Carbon dioxide pollution from fossil fuels uh, are on track to rise around 1% this year. The rise would mean that the emissions will hit an all-time high this year. Scientists have warned against this at the COP27 climate summit. The Global Carbon Budget Report has highlighted the gap between the promises made to cut emissions and the action taken on the ground, which scientists say are still causing the emissions to rise further. Instead of slashing them to meet the 1.5 degrees Celsius cap on global warming, the increase is driven by higher oil use in transport, particularly in aviation as countries reopen after COVID lockdowns. This year, 36.6 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide is being put out in the air for energy and cement use. That's carbon dioxide emissions equivalent to the weight of the Great Pyramid of Giza every 75 minutes. So if we keep emitting the same amount of CO2 every single year, for the next nine years, we will be using up the carbon budget, which means that there is a 50% chance that we will be reaching 1.5 at that time. It doesn't have to be exactly in, on November 11th, 2021, but it will be like around that time. The report by more than 100 scientists uh, is full of surprises. It says China's carbon pollution is down by 0.9% and emissions in Europe too have dropped slightly. The report says emissions in the US have risen by 1.5% and in India by 6%. The, I mean, the big surprise to me is China with emissions going down and it's EU with coal emissions going up. So these are the, the big surprises in, 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 in a sense that it goes against the natural historical flow of Chinese emissions going up from year to year and I mean coal emissions going down in Europe from year to year. And now we see the opposite. I mean the US in a sense, of course there's a little blip and it goes up, but the long term trend and, and the ratio between coal and oil and gas is kind of like consistent more than in Europe, because they are less affected by the war in Ukraine.